Hi everyone, it's Maria here and today I will be taking you through a cocker clip off. Now I know ideally you want these guys hand stripped but I want a preference dictates what I do with all of my customers. So to start with I used the eye groom squeaky clean. I absolutely adore using this with spaniels because they tend to get quite greasy especially on their ears. So this shampoo really cuts through all the grease so wonderfully and as you can see here I spent a lot of time scrubbing the ears. Spaniel ears take forever to dry so I just want to make sure that they are as clean as possible. And my facial of choice is the Tropiclean Blueberry. Smells delicious and cleans the face really well while being really sensitive on the eyes. And then getting him all rinsed off quickly. Luckily it doesn't take too long with the eye groom shampoos. That comes off really nice and easy. And then use as many towels as you need. There isn't a limit, you can always wash them. Get the dog as dry as you can. And to help with the blasting process, I'm using the Groom Professional Fast Dry Spray. This stuff is so good. It helps with the blasting. It cuts down on your drying time so much. And to help with those spaniel ears as well, a happy hoodie. I will use these with every single dog, but especially with the thick spaniel ears, they are invaluable. And as I am doing a clip off, I really like to blast against the growth of the hair. That really lifts the hair up and makes it easier to achieve a nice even finish on the dog. And as you may have seen in previous grooming videos I've done, I like starting a little bit unconventional with dogs. I will always clip the neck area first. And you may be able to spy the brand new designer dog motors clippers in my hands. I got a chance to test them out and I absolutely adored using them. And with spaniels, this under the ear bit, I really like taking that short. It's just because it clips skunk and everything. So I just carefully clip that area. You always want to be careful with clipping underneath the ears because they're so foldy and it's really easy to catch the skin. And before I pop the grooming loop back on, I just make sure that I clip slightly down the back. It just means the loop's not in the way as I carry on clipping in a minute. And this is where I start what would be the conventional grooming line. So I go all the way down the back and then work my way down on the sides. And you always just want to make sure that you are clipping with the growth of the hair. So don't just carry on going straight across as you get to the ribs. The hair will slightly curve down here. So just make sure that you're clipping the way the hair grows so you avoid clipping lines. And with the tuck here, you can see that I'm pushing it slightly out with my other hand. It just means that you get an even clip down there. And again, because it is a slightly looser bit of skin, it is easier to catch. So just making it all tight means that you get a good finish on that. And as you can see here, I am skimming along that tuck line there with the seven. You can do it with the 10 as well. I do often do it with a 10. I do this instead of scissoring because he's safer and it leaves a beautiful crisp line along there. And a really handy tip for clipping inside the back leg. I will always go behind the dog as you can see here and I will clip the leg from behind. And pretty much the same with the front leg. I will always lift the leg up and go from underneath and in front of the dog. That way you just get a nice clean finish underneath the tummy and in the armpits. And you can see here as well I am skimming the seven along the line of the skin here to get a crisp finish. And this is where you will see Dudley beginning to be a spaniel and putting his head in the way as I try and clip. Very common with spaniels, you just kind of have to push through it. And now for the fun bit, which is clean spaniel feet or cat feet as they're sometimes called. You start with a 30, so you clip underneath the pads and I also like to go slightly over the edge of the pads. So that just means that I've got less to clean up with my scissors later on. And after the clip, I will always pull the extra hair from in between the toes with my fingers and with a slicker brush. And then I will go in with my Groom Professional Astrid Curves. I really like these feet because they are so thin. I will just take the bulk of the hair off first and then I will push the toes apart with my fingers and go in between the toes with my scissors. You could do that with trimmers as well. It's just personal preference. 
and afterwards I will just tidy up any wispy bits with my thinners. These are the Designer Dog Aureus thinners. And here we go, a nice clean foot and now just repeat that three times. And if I've missed any wispy bits, I will just go in quickly with my Designer Dog Aureus chunks to tidy up. And with a lot of spaniels, I will either clip the tail completely off or I will flag it. So as you can see here, I'm just twisting the end of the tail and cutting it. These are my Groom Professional Serious Straights. And then just combing with a little bit of help from my colleague and just tidying up that flag line that I've just created. And now moving on to Dudley's head, he is keeping his top knot. So I'm just brushing it all out of the way so I know where the ear starts and where the top knot ends. I'm using a four blade here. And what you want to remember is you need to keep the ear leather flat against your hand because this is where accidents will happen when the skin gets caught between the clippers. And once you've clipped the hair top and bottom, just go in with any scissors you want. I'm using my serious curves here just to go along the edge of the ear leather. And I'm pinching the leather between my fingers so I know exactly where it is to avoid cutting the skin. And final little step, just blending in any top knot wispy bits into the ear with my thinners. And here we have the final result. And I forgot to mention, I used a seven blade on his body and legs. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next upload. Bye guys.